Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your next 48 for Sagittarius. Sun moon rising, Venus and North Node, March 19th and the 20th for Sagittarius. The Arctic. Okay, Sagittarius, Sun moon rising, Venus and North Node, March 19th and the 20th. Let's see what's coming in for Sagittarius. Holy Spirit, God's angels, universe. What's the messages here for Sagittarius? Sagittarius, please. Some of them are Venus and North Node for Sagittarius. So what's flipping out is the Empress. So you look very beautiful here. You could be getting your hair done, your nails done, your feet done, your lashes today, or something like that, um, Sagittarius. But I'm getting your vibing very high with the Empress energy. Or this could be a Libra. Yeah, we have double Libra here. So this could be someone that you're missing, Sagittarius, somebody that you're not talking to because the Three of Swords could be a separation, a breakup. You could be breaking up with your baby mother because the Empress could be a baby mother as well. Yeah, we have Libra again. Wow. So a Libra is very significant here. You could be undecided between two Libras. One Libra may, may very much be a liar, somebody that you don't trust. And another Libra could be very beautiful, very a business owner, very uh, take care of themselves very well. Somebody that you, you just feel very much um, attracted to. Okay. The Empress is the most beautiful in the deck. So let's see what this is, Sagittarius. What's the Empress for Sagittarius, March 19th and the 20th? Are you really missing a Libra? What is it, the Empress? Yeah, we have the Ace of Wands. So yeah, you're very attracted to this Libra. All right, or this is somebody you're meeting. Ace of Wands could represent, represent new. So you could be meeting someone new over the next couple of days, or this could just be somebody that you're already familiar with that you're very much attracted to. Okay, yeah, the King of Swords. Okay. So I'm, I'm getting like, yeah, you really have the hots for this person here. Sagittarius, or this could be them for you. Pick what side of your own. Okay, let's see. Sagittarius, March 19th and the 20th, please, for Sagittarius. We have the Nine of Wands. Wow, so you seem to be frustrated here. Okay, irritated and frustrated here. Yeah, the Nine of Cups. The Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. So there's someone here that you're that you're wanting to. Uh... So I'm getting like there's a Libra. There could be a baby mama that you're frustrated with, annoyed with. You could also be a bit insecure. What's the Nine of Wands, real quick? Because that's you, Sagittarius. You seem to be irritated. What is the Nine of Wands? So the judgment and the and the seven of wands. So I, I feel like you could be irritated with someone. Someone could be, keep calling you. Maybe you're while you're at work, you're working, or someone just keeps seems to be bothering you. Yeah, the eight of pentacles. I feel like this could be a baby mother, somebody that you're not attracted to, or somebody okay, or somebody that's getting on your fucking nerves because the ace of wands wanted to come out in the reverse. Three, 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 and yeah, the five of swords. Okay. The Five of Cups, the Nine of Swords, wow. So there's somebody on your mind you really want to reconcile with and be with. But I feel like there's a baby mama or daddy. It could be either one that's really getting on your nerves. Someone's calling you nonstop or they're just getting on your fucking nerves. You're trying to work or focus on something. I also see an influx in your pay with the King of Pentacles. You could be a business owner here. Okay. I'm getting you're blocking someone out or... Or you, you just, I don't know. Wow, this is too much. Ooh, yikes. Okay. So we have the tower. Okay, Scorpio energy here. And we have Libra. We have the Knight of Wands. That's you, Sagittarius. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups and the Star. So you could be in the public eye here. Okay, or this could be somebody else that you're very much attracted to, passionate about. I'm getting someone that's foreign, Haitian, Dominican, or, uh, Nigerian, African, or whatever. I'm getting this somebody's name to start with the letter M. But I'm getting you are very attracted to this person. Whoever this person is, or they are to you. Yeah, the King of Wands. Yeah, you see this person as, yeah. 
I'm getting a renewal or forgiveness. There's somebody you, you, this would definitely be somebody new that you've met. This doesn't have to be for everybody. Yeah, the three of pentacles. I'm definitely getting at work. This could be a work situation. All right. Or somebody's somebody's on somebody, some kind of platform here. Yeah, the world card. So somebody's definitely on a world stage or on a platform. Okay. But I'm getting something. Yeah, the hangman, Pisces energy. So there could be, you could be seeing something from a different perspective here. Yeah, the high priestess. All right. I'm getting you feel enlightened. Yeah, the page of swords flipped over. So you're definitely watching someone or someone's watching you. This is definitely someone online that you watch quite often is what I'm getting here. Um... But I feel like you're holding back or you're not moving towards this person. I feel like there's a lot of emotions here. If somebody here is really hiding their emotion, their emotions or passion for someone. It's like it's almost as if you're suppressing your attraction for somebody or reach it out to somebody. It's almost like you're trying to hold yourself back. But I feel like you really want to hear from somebody or you really want to talk to them here. What's the seven of wands though? This is too much. The Eight of Swords. So yeah, I'm getting like you're leaving somebody on red. Somebody keeps calling you, annoying you. You have no, no desire to talk to this person or anything. You may even end up blocking someone. I feel like somebody keeps calling you saying the same shit over and over or they keep texting the same shit or somebody just constantly texting your phone or calling you or something. They're just getting on your fucking nerves. All right? Or something like that. And it's really just... And something just really is irritating you here. Yeah, I knew it, man. The devil and the magician. I knew it. It's right there flipped over. I knew it, dog. Okay? In the five of wands. So somebody here, yeah. There's definitely do there's definitely blocking going on here, Sagittarius. This is you or someone else. Someone, these are literally three cards of spell work. And they all flipped over at the same fucking time. Yeah, we got the Wheel of Fortune. Something's tripping. Yeah. I feel like this, because I wanted to clarify why you see this ace of wands in reverse. I mean, why is the ace of wands in reverse? Because I feel like there's a baby mother. And I say mother because the empress. If it was the emperor, I'd say a baby daddy. But it could be a baby mama or a daddy. It doesn't matter. That is annoying. Yeah, that you're breaking up with the three. So it could be a Cancerian. Somebody could be a Cancer. Maybe they have Libra in their chart. But I feel like somebody is toxic. There's a lot of arguing and fighting. You guys are arguing and fighting about the same shit over and over. Someone's also doing spell work to block you. Or this is your ass. Okay. Somebody's creating delays and stagnation, blocking you, keeping you trapped, doing spell work on you, doing all kinds of shit here. I'm getting you're not attracted to this person. This person actually gets on your fucking nerves. They annoy you. They frustrate you. I'm, I'm hearing hate. You may even hate this person. They just get on your fucking nerves. I'm getting a lot of blow ups, arguments and fights. You don't get along or see eye to eye about a fucking thing. But then there's the star or somebody in the public eye that you have your eye on. That you want to reconcile with or be with or offer something to, but you you feel like you, you know, but it's it's like the hangman. You're seeing something, you're enlightened, you're seeing something, you're, you know that you need to make this change. You need to close something out with the world card. You know that you need to close a cycle out. Yeah, the world and the tower, I'm getting it's going to end anyways. When the tower comes in, that's the universe coming in and shaking something up that needs to end judgment some it's like your intuition it's like you're being called to end this to block this i'm getting like you every time you talk to this person everything everything turns into an argument like i'm getting like com, like a lot of arguing and arguing about the same shit over and over and over again i'm getting you're ready for a change and a shift you're being called to make that change and shift but someone's someone's doing spell work to block you I'm getting somebody just turns you off. You have no attraction for someone. You just dead. It's just over with. 
but you stay stuck. Yeah, there's going to be a breakup through a source and chariot, and you're going to move ahead, move forward. Something is just really irritating. I'm just, I don't know why I'm feeling this overwhelming amount of irritation. I'm getting headaches and everything. Somebody is just a headache all the fucking time. I feel like somebody has nothing better to do but sit up and argue and talk about the same shit or something all the time. Call, I'm getting you're going to leave somebody on red. You're going to block somebody or something like that. You're just done playing with this person or talking about this or doing the same shit with this person. I feel something is toxic. When the devil shows up, something is very toxic. There's a lot of arguing and fighting. You're having to always defend yourself. This may even be somebody that could pick up something and hit you with it or, or try to fight you or this is you or something. Just a lot of drama is what I'm seeing. I'm getting it's over and over. Nine of Wands is just like over and over. You just keep subjecting yourself to the same shit over and over. Six of Pentacles and um, oh my gosh, 11, 11. So you could be dealing with a Libra because that was the only two readings I got the 11. I saw 11, 11 in. So this could be a Libra could be your twin flame. And then we have the four of Wands as well. And that showed up in Libras as well. So a Libra could be significant. Whoever this person is online, possibly the Empress, somebody that's very beautiful. Somebody that's in the public eye. All right. And then you have a baby mama that could be a Libra or have Libra highly aspected. That's just fucking annoying. All you do is argue and fight with this person. Yeah. A lot of smoke screens, a lot of bullshit and illusions, confusion. I'm, I'm getting like, yeah, the four of cups, the ace of swords. Yeah, the three of swords. Yeah. I'm getting like you really want to reconcile with someone, someone that you're you're missing a whole lot here. I feel like it's, it's just weighing you down. You really would like to communicate and talk to somebody, hear from them. Somebody could be very inspiring. Someone, they inspire you. They could be very intelligent. What's the star card? Somebody could be a boss. Very, They do very well for themselves with the King of Pentacles. Okay. What's the star card? Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. This is definitely somebody that's on, yeah, that's on stage. The Four of Wands. Yeah. I'm getting the Knight of Cups. You want to apologize? There's an offer you want to make to the star. It could be an Aquarius, or if they're not an Aquarius, it could be somebody in the public eye. I'm getting an apology here. Also coming over. I see you driving to someone's home in your car. Nice car. All right. Or somebody else has a nice car and a nice home. But the Four of Wands is a home. This is someone on stage. So some, somebody's definitely a performer. Like they're on camera or, or something. But I'm getting you're watching this person. This could be YouTube. Because I'm hearing YouTube. Yeah, the Nine of Cups. This person is your wish. Or you're theirs or something like that. But I see you charging ahead. Yeah, the Justice. There's that Libra again. Six of Swords. I definitely see you going to see someone going to their home or you could you guys could go out to eat together and then yeah i knew it nine of cups you're probably going to go out to eat good dining good food good drinking and then someone's coming over to someone's home i see a lot of laughter or talking a lot of good times i feel like yeah the justice wanted to come out yeah i feel like there's an apology being offered here somebody you could be bringing wine to someone's home or bringing their favorite drink to them or, or or whatever they like to drink or something like that. Yeah, I definitely I definitely see that. Yeah, the justice, okay. And the sun card. This is your justice. I feel like this person makes you very happy here. Okay. I feel like I'm seeing something being balanced out. I see you being very happy here. Yeah, the sun and star. Somebody's a big deal. A big star. Are they going to be? Or this is you. But you seem to feel delayed or stuck or blocked by this person that... I, I feel like somebody here is blocking you, Sagittarius. Or you're blocking someone. Pick what side of this you're on. 
I feel like you're destined with the will of fortune for something else. You're supposed to be with somebody else, where somewhere else with somebody else, but yet you are being blocked or stopped by this person who has you under a spell. Devil, magician, and the eight of swords. They do this. They actively do this every day. They're keeping you stuck and trapped to them. I'm getting you. You have no attraction toward this person with the ace of wands coming out in the reverse. It flipped out perfectly in the reverse. I just put it up right. Yeah, this is the truth. What I'm saying is the truth. Ace of swords. There's almost, there's always an argument every single day about the same shit possibly. I feel like somebody don't have nothing better to do but harass and get on your fucking nerves. Or this is you. But there's somebody here that makes you very happy. They shine very bright. They're very intelligent. Somebody's very attractive. They're foreign as well. I'm getting Dominican or Haitian or something. But you're very, um, or both. You're, but you're very, um... I definitely see you, I definitely see you seeing, this is too many. I definitely see you seeing somebody or taking somebody out on a date or being with somebody here. Okay, I definitely see that happening. You taking, someone's coming over or yeah. This could also be somebody you met at work with the Eight of Pentacles. This could be a work situation. Someone you met definitely with the Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. I see you working with this person. Whoever this person is, Four of Wands is two people that are very compatible. All right, I'm getting somebody that dresses very well. Someone that, I'm getting somebody's body. So you like somebody's naked body or you or you love someone's looks, their attraction, the way they dress their body. You love something about someone's boobs as well cause I'm, or they like it about yours or something like that. But I'm getting two people that are compatible. It could be a Libra and the Justice because you two were the only readings that got uh, that I saw the 1111 on the clock and the Four of Wands. As I saw the 1111 on the clock. So that is a big confirmation. And look, I opened the deck and the lovers. This is another indication of a twin flame. Yeah, the, the eight of wands. Yeah, I'm getting two people fell in love at first sight. That's literally what that means. I'm getting like butterflies in the stomach when you've seen this person or you see them. Somebody makes you very happy. Ten of Cups, that's a complete emotional fulfillment. And with the Ten of Pentacles, that's complete. You see marriage, happiness, kids, your life with this person. I feel like you're destined to be with them. This is your twin flame, whoever this Leo or this Libra is. But I'm getting it's a Libra that is in the public eye. Yeah, the Three of Cups. I see you dating someone, going out on the date, having drinks kicking shit, eating good, and then going back to somebody's home and having a lot of great sex. The lovers is sex. I'm getting life-changing sex, very healing sex, sex with the star. And then I open the, the deck and the two of cups is here. I think Libra got that as well, the lovers and the two of cups in their reading. So maybe you need to go watch the Libra reading. But I'm getting a very divine and very beautiful connection, a bond that can never be broken. Two people are very compatible for, for one another, very compatible. You have the Ace of Pentacles. I see you offering this person something or giving this person something. This is somebody you're meant to be with. The full card and you want to take a leap of faith. I, I definitely see you traveling to see someone coming over. But I see drinks first, going out to eat, um, having a good time, and then coming over all right, kicking it with someone, laughing, a lot of laughing with the Ten of Cups. Yes, a lot of laughing, a lot of smile. I feel like you love someone's smile too. It's very bright and beautiful. You're going to be very happy here. And then I feel like things are going to go to the bedroom, Four of Wands. Somebody has a very nice bed or a very nice home. And I see a lot of sex, like a lot. Very passionate with the lovers and the two. Like, yeah, I definitely see... Um, Three of Cups, drinking and partying, kicking it out. I, I hear maybe it's some music, nice food. I just, I see fun here. A lot of it. This could be going out and then maybe getting something to go back to the house and drink even more and have even more fun. I see talking, watching TV, maybe watching movies and all types of shit. Okay. What's the five of wands, the devil in the, cause th this is, this is like, 
I'm just getting, yeah, the Nine of Cups. I'm getting being very pleased. The Nine of Cups, I mean, you're being satisfied over and over again. Are you satisfying this person or you guys are pleasing each other? Lots of drinking and partying and just fun. I feel like you, you just smile from ear to ear with this person or they do with you or both of you. This is a very healing connection. It's two people destined to be together. I feel like you're meant to work with this person. You're meant to shine with this person. This is a very attractive couple. This is the type of couple people envy. Um, it just it just works. Yeah, and, and yeah, the Knight of Swords. So when I open the deck, we have the Knight of Swords and the Five of Swords. So in the Four of Cups. So I'm just getting like, you're bored, you're discontent. There's a lot of jealousy, competition, yelling and arguing, hateful shit going on. And something that you're stuck in. Somebody does not want to see you win. Yeah, the four of pentacles. Somebody's doing spell work to hold on to you, to keep you trapped. Somebody loves controlling you or they want to possess you. Somebody's very possessive. This is you or this is this person that you're dealing with. I feel like somebody does spell work on your ass all the time, keeping you stuck or this is you. But I feel like you, you're very unhappy here with the four of cups. Very very discontent, very unhappy, and you feel trapped. But this is what you're, you. This is what you're feeling like you are. You're not stuck or trapped. You're allowing yourself to be that. The will of fortune. There's a shift that's supposed to happen. You're supposed to be over here with this person, man. I feel like there's a lot of jealousy and hate, and, and a lot of motherfuckers who jealous. Of, of this person or of you being with this person. You being in this relationship with this person. It's a lot of motherfuckers that you that is mad at that. Yeah, the higher fight. You're supposed to be married. I'm also getting there's a, there, there's there's maybe some kind of institution that you that you feel stuck to or these people or you feel like you can't you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Yeah, ace of swords and the two of wands, that's the truth. You know that this person is a good choice. You know that you're you're supposed to be with this person. I feel like you know that, but yet this is going on. I just get an energy of being very unhappy. A lot of headaches, migraines, a lot of arguing and fighting. Yeah, the page of wands. You're going to get some kind of confirmation from this reading that you need to. Yeah, eight of cups. I was about to say move on. Yeah, and leave something to back behind. It's time to take a leap of faith in a different direction. Or, or this could be this person you're dealing with. But with the justice and the will of fortune, somebody's going to get really bad karma for this spell work that they've been having somebody under for, for eight years or 10 years or whatever this is. The eight or 10, somebody is going to pay for that because somebody has been manipulating somebody's free will. Okay, not allowing somebody to make decisions for their own, doing spell work to fuck somebody over. Yeah, the moon card. Somebody does spell work around the moon time phases too. So there was a full moon last night. They did spell work on your ass or you did. Just period. Somebody does it in a very sneaky way as well is what I just heard. Somebody's very sneaky. Very much a liar. Very much... At all of that. Okay, just period. I'm getting you know that. It's something, yeah, the death card. Something's supposed to change. I see you living a very happy life, very fulfilled. This is your twin flame, your perfect match. The person that you've always dreamed of, literally with the star card. This is your wish, your, your dream girl, your dream guy, whichever side of this you're on. Okay, yeah, the five of cups. But yeah, there's someone from your past that you're very much off and on with. Very much off and on, off and on, off and on. Somebody you could have children with or a child with. It could be a cancer. Somebody here is very much uh, uh, proverbish. They don't have no money. I feel like somebody is like going to fuck you up, Sagittarius. Somebody here is destined to poverty or they don't have shit. And then here you are being stuck. So you taking on somebody else's karma. When you're meant to be doing something else somewhere else with someone else. But you're taking on and staying stuck dealing with somebody else's karma and their fuck shit. Staying unhappy and, and all this other shit. Delaying your own happiness for what? Who deserves for you to delay your happiness and your life? Who? Why would you give somebody that much power? And you only get one life to live. Nah, that's not boss. Nobody don't take. Nobody has control of your life but you. 
and you need to, you need to make sure that you that you handling your shit and doing what you need to do. I don't even see attraction. The Ace of Wands came out in the reverse. I don't even see attraction here for this person. The attraction is over here with this person. The love. This is real love. Attraction. This is this is not love. This is using. This is spell work. This is effect. This is um fucking with somebody's free will. That's what this is. Through spell work. Uh, manipulating someone. This is pure, genuine love. Divinely, two people were divinely guided to, to one another. And this is this is was built on a, a faulty foundation with the tower. That's why it's going to crumble. And when it does, you're going to end up losing everything behind this shit. Behind this person. Yeah, the Ten of Swords and the Six of Cups. Time to dead the past and, and free yourself. Or somebody needs to free themselves from your ass. I feel like you're in love. You've never loved someone like this. You have the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. There's somebody you want to give something to, date. This could even be a proposal. This is definitely going to turn into marriage. You're going to be so happy. Like you're going to have the rare kind of connections where you know you're happy forever because it's just too, you're just compatible. And two people are supposed to work together. They're supposed to complete a mission together. Yeah, the temperance, the perfect blending of energies. Very connected and divinely guided relationship with these wings. The heavens want you two together. But somebody's creating delays and blocks through manipulating you with spell work. Or this is you. I don't see no love here. This is control and possession. Devil in the four pinnacles. Somebody loves to control you. Or this is you. And if I pull from my other deck that I made, I bet you the car they don't the the card comes out that's um from my karmic deck that says they don't even want you. They just don't want this person to have you. Real motherfucking talk. Yeah, the high priestess, the six of swords, and the nine of pentacles. So this could be somebody that is like a tarot reader or very spiritual. You're being guided to six of swords. To this person, somebody self-made, self-sufficient, hard working, reliable, somebody that is boss like a motherfucker and you miss this person and you think about them all the time but then you feel guilty about leaving somebody behind that no, is no longer serving you you don't owe anybody shit or they don't owe you shit whatever side of this shit you want and you're gonna and you're delaying your happiness you're delaying a whole lot that you want for for somebody that you're no longer conducive to be with the energy is no longer conducive. they've been playing you the whole time anyways or you have yeah, the Queen of Wands. I feel like there's somebody here you're very attracted to and you're very much destined to be with. I feel like somebody's been stealing money from you as well. Or something to do with money, man. All right. Anyways, it is what it is, man. We have the... um. We have the, the uh, King to the Queen of Pentacles. So Divine Counterparts. All right. I'm also getting lies around money. Somebody has been stealing money or doing something crazy with money here. Or someone's worried about what their mother going to say, what everybody's going to say. It's too many people involved and too much jealousy here. It's time to find it's time to find another way. But there's somebody here you want to. Yeah, there's a cancer that you're going to leave behind or that that you need to leave behind. All right. Yeah, the death card. Something is over. It needs to change or it's changing. Yeah, the three of swords. There's going to be a breakup and an ending inevitably. Something's going to end with all these world tower and all these cards of major endings. And I feel like it's going to make you very happy. But you need to come up out of this. this somebody's manipulating you. All right. So those are your messages, Sagittarius. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and follow your girl on Instagram at Empress Goddess underscore 35.